Hey all, I'm Propagandist and welcome back to some more Murder Drones Let's Watch. We're reacting to episode 4 today, Cabin Fever, is what it's called, which immediately makes me think that some of our characters are going to get stuck together in one little space and are slowly going to be driven insane and probably going to start killing each other very rapidly. At least, uh, if I had to take a stab in the dark, that's what it would be. So in the last one, uh, we had the whole prom thing uh, with Russian bot trying to take revenge, presumably on the murder drones. I'm recording this episode straight after the last one, incidentally, in case anyone's wondering. So if anyone left me any comments on that previous one, actually saying, no, Reg, you completely misunderstood uh, the story and what was going on, and this was actually what was happening, then, uh, yeah, <laughs> just bear in mind I won't have seen that yet. Well, I won't have seen it as of when I record this. Um, by the time this video goes out, I probably will have seen it, but yeah, I can't respond to it, basically, and all that. Um, yeah, so... Um, so far, you know, this series is decent enough. Um, it's it's okay. I'm, I'm enjoying it enough to continue watching it. Um, I do find the pace is quite sort of very quick. It's very frenetic. You know, there's a lot kind of going on um, in sort of quick succession, bish, bash, bosh. So, you know, um, it can sort of take a moment. Uh, or rather, you know, it's good for me to sort of take a moment sometimes at the start of these videos and at the end of them just to try and, you know, reflect on everything that happened and make sure I've kind of pieced them together in my own head and all that. So, you know, I mean, as long as, you know, you kind of pick up on um, the most essential stuff, then you can follow the show uh, quite easily, you know. So, um, I think... Um, Old uh, M, uh, whatever she's called. Um, no, so not M. <laughs> what, what did I say M? V. V. That's her name. Um, so she had a moment in the previous one where she was uh, nearly taken out by old Russian bot. So I'm kind of wondering if um, this is going to be her sort of formative moment, maybe, and she's going to start changing and start questioning uh, the fact that she's basically just meant to kill. We'll see. Um, who knows? So, uh, without further ado, I think we'll just get to the episode. Also, wearing a uh, Chiaki once again, which is how you can tell that I am um, <laughs> recording this same day as the last one. All right, let's get to it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Episode four, Cabin Fever. I got no cup of tea, though, this time. Because I drunk it all, of course, during the last episode. Maybe I should have made myself a fresh one. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be fine. Camp 98.7, established 3002. Okay, so we're uh, in the next millennium. Probably it gave a clue about that at the start of the Civil War. That's, um... <laughs> I was about to say, that's uh, an interesting way of driving a school bus. Don't you just hate people on their smartphones constantly not paying attention to the world? <laughs> now what's going on here? Where are we uh, being dropped off? Is this like a school field trip? Something like that? So this show is basically teenage slice of life mixed with sci-fi action. <laughs> What? <laughs> she was always all build doors against the coming sky demons. The singularity awakens. Look at this cool ass I can draw. <sighs> Turns out I'm not who either of you needed. Hmm. Just be safe. So okay? Nori is the mother of Uzi, I guess. I see. You've got that with you right now. It's your keepsake. Sure. What is this field trip? Yeah, Uzi's idea. Ask her. <laughs> I've sat next to you for years. <laughs> Fight me! <laughs> Just see the one doing the sign of the cross. <laughs> The murder drone's joining us for the trip out. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Oops! Who did that? That's everyone! Minus one? We've got so many distracting activities planned, so no sneaking off to investigate stuff. <laughs> Derek did it her. <laughs> also, has she got, like, freaking makeshift wings on? Because she's trying to impersonate them. It looks like she has. Yeah, she has. <laughs> Yeah, they're 
like my friends too, so it's cool. Now nah, you're just on your own. <laughs> nope. Our friend, little guy. Poor things defective. <laughs> well, good to see V is uh, taking up her role of not killing anybody. <laughs> Alright, you're just gonna let her wander off, okay? <laughs> I'm sure that won't work out badly for you. Oh, for crying out loud, there's always gonna be an advert. I don't care about dr this Dragon Air US whatever it is, get out of here. It's not like it's War Thunder and God knows what else. Or that stupid Hero Wars. Does anyone get adverts for that? It's like a mobile game that just looks like a right pile of wank. <laughs> Well, that's definitely uh, a pleasant looking building that you could go into, and I'm sure there'll be nothing horrible in there. Well, the bugs are here, which is not a good sign. Is this maybe the old house? Perhaps? Is that what this is? Hmm, doesn't look like it actually. Nice, no, it looks more like an industrial building or something. Maybe that's the excuse for the field trip. We're going investigating something. Sarah Morris, evacuate all dogs, just in case something bad happens, did that say? That was very quick, I didn't quite read all of it, but... Oh, hello. That was a hand. Is there a murder drone in here? Because at the end of the last episode, there was like a ninja drone. No. Uh. <laughs> You're just paddling on uh, ice. Well, at least he's enjoying himself. <laughs> You're pissed about that, are you? The arm. Or something that you found. You said this camp would help us catch that red-eyed doll freak. How about more explory? Less watch from window creepy. <laughs> Working on it. This is actually quite a longer episode. This one it's about twenty-one minutes. Right. So I'm expecting plenty of uh, cool. interesting stuff to happen. Better to stay distant, though. Don't you think? Since I'll have to kill you next. Yikes! <laughs> Just scratch my eyeball. <laughs> Friends with rocks, by the way. He'll move on just fine. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. Got you good. Isn't that a handy little ability? You got a new friend? Little Robo Roach is going to help you out in any way. Show you the way forward. That also is a unique little ability. Hmm. Now who might this be? Who's dead under the floorboards? Program admission notice. <laughs> Side intentionally left blank. <laughs> I 
There was one that said, end my suffering. <laughs> okay, yeah, see? The Robo Roaches, they're helpful. Where is that? What are you? <laughs> Where is that? What are you? Uh oh. Behind you. There's a Russian bot still here. Oh, Jesus. And. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Had a weird feeling. Oops. <laughs> even kill everyone here. Check this out. Wow, you heard her from all the way over there? Uzi, With that howling wind? Here. Wow. <laughs> He's a numpty. <laughs> you have more than a few moments. Is this robo trauma? What was that Lovecraftian abomination you were just witnessing? They still don't know. I <laughs> see. <laughs> ah, when you're so anonymous, people forget completely who you were. I think there's a virus in your system. I think you need to do a system reset, restore to an earlier point. As if she's losing control. Is Russian bot in her head? We can't hurt Uzi. Do our jobs, and that thing leaves us alone. I don't know what you're talking about because you won't tell me. The smartphone comes out, of course. Party time? <laughs> I said before, the expressions are always good. Just that little like I <laughs> roll like that. <laughs> this person have I right? <laughs> it's about mood, Darren. How does a robot make out? <laughs> uh yeah, that doesn't look particularly inviting. I could not think of a setting raw more romantic. <laughs> of course they'd like it. Oh, for God's sake, I don't care, Snapdragon. I don't even know what Snapdragon is. Okay, that was a short one. It's always annoying when you get like a 20 second advert that you can't skip. It's funny, like the last couple of episodes we've not really had too much trouble with adverts. It was a bit troublesome in the fourth one, but then last couple were fine. I wonder if it's maybe because it's a video that's more than 20 minutes long. Maybe that's it. That's why it puts uh, adverts part way through it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you in trouble now? Well, they dead. <laughs> Are any of the campers going to be alive by the end of this trip? Methinks, probably not. Hmm. 
What is this strange building? What's that? <laughs> zombie movies? Let's watch some zombie movies. Let's get ourselves... Oh, zombie drones, sorry. Hmm? Was that a flashback? Do you like zombie drones? Do not play for robots, they will not like it. Okay. Maybe you leave that alone, then. You eating dead robots? Yeah, she's turning into Russian Mark, it feels like. <laughs> They're really actually uh, trying for a horror vibe in this one, aren't they? It never existed. It's scary because it's like. Aren't you guys worried about Darren and Rebecca? Real. Shouldn't they be back from their immoral makeup? Session? Final girl survival guide. <laughs> Rebecca, who did this to you? <coughs> Don't remember name. <coughs> Super unpopular. Descriptive <laughs> clues, man. Purple eyes. Hot topic. <laughs> you say hot topic. <laughs> Yeah, who could that possibly be? She fell on turning into a murder drone. <laughs> Time to run, kids! <laughs> Immediately doing the horror movie trope. Wow. Now that's a joke and a half, isn't it? <laughs> What's this music? Tale of the Alien, the Xenomorph or something. <laughs> it at least have pictures. It doesn't. I checked. <laughs> no, don't trust that. What's it say? Camp something on a T-shirt. She made. I had a feeling he would show up at just the right moment. <laughs> Killing her, not oh no, sorry, not. I thought that was N for some reason. <laughs> v. Okay, not the one I was expecting then. She mentioned a name there, I didn't quite catch it. Oh, hey up. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> she just seems supremely unconcerned by everything that's happening. Damn, Uzi, you uh, turned full horror monster. Wow, you've dealt with her so easily. You always take her side. He's not even going to dignify that with a response. He's just going to go. 
He's like, peace out. He must have thrown her with quite some force to send her that high up. Uzi, you want to tell me what's the matter? No, don't <laughs> I'm frozen. Does the therapist pose? How uh, far are they falling? <laughs> scary stuff was actually pretty scary. And tonight too, because you weren't with me to make it fun somehow. I kind of forgot what that was like. Same. Then we'll stick together. <laughs> Don't and touch it. Is more like you don't go to your Uzi that you've got wings and a tail? You're turning into a murder bot? Accent was a bad idea anyway. And yeah, don't ever do a British accent again. <laughs> it's like the stereotype that all Americans do. Gavner, lovely voice that in it. <laughs> You gotta have a license to do an accent like that. <laughs> Ew. Don't patronize. What? Me. I think it's gross all by myself. God, you're a diva lately. <laughs> so sorry. It's looking a bit emptier now, that bus, just saying. So how can you explain this to all the parents? Campers here. Yeah, more than a few. Is this the ship now? <laughs> Enna News Uzi. No, Newsy. Hungry, <laughs> no name calling. Just a question. Oh, hello, watch out. She turning uh, red again. Zombie drones. Hmm. Maybe it's less of a film and more of an instructional video. And that's the end of the episode there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, just check, of course, that there's nothing at the end there, which I don't think there is, because only four seconds remaining. All right, let's have a jump cut here then. Well, there we go. So, episode four, Kevin Fever, done. That leaves just one more episode after this. Um, so, essentially, yeah, it, it's hinting very much at the idea of a zombie drone virus um, having infected uh, old Uzi and all that. Um, presumably, maybe it's got something to do with the Russian bot. Maybe it's got something to do with the mansion that we saw in a flashback earlier. Things like that. So, yeah, kind of curious to see where episode five uh, goes from here. What I'd also be kind of curious about is how many episodes... Um, are Glitch intending to do of this series, because at the moment, like I say, there's only the five, uh, and I'm assuming there's a sixth in the works somewhere, but what's the, kind of the total number that they're looking at, or is there no sort of strict number? Are they just doing however many episodes it takes? Maybe they're just do, sort of making each one, um, each one in turn, and just sort of, you know, seeing the response to it, and then just for each one, maybe just taking the story a bit further each time, if that makes sense. Who knows? Um, I have no idea, actually. That's the thing. I, I don't really know anything about Glitch uh, as an animation studio. I know they have a couple of other se uh, series uh, on their channel, so I don't know. Um, other than that, I yeah, my knowledge of them is not that great. So yeah, um, you know, another interesting episode. It certainly feels like they're going for that kind of horror vibe <laughs> at times with the dark settings, the cabin in the woods, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, if there's one thing we really learned from this episode, it's that these worker drones are dumb AF. <laughs> they uh, make all these sort of horror movie mistakes and all that. Let's split up and go into the woods. Sure, that'll work out for you and all that. Yeah, um, well, there you go. So I uh, hope you'll join me for the fifth part, which will be coming um, hopefully sometime soon. 
I mean, I've just got to make sure I try and sit down and get some time to record it and all that, which I should do. I should do, ladies and gentlemen. So you'll join me for that then. And uh, yeah, I mean, not much else for me to say. I mean, um, the thing about this is, you know, I know my sort of um, sections where I give my thoughts uh, for these Murder Drones episodes aren't very long, say, like, compared to my Ruby Let's Watch, but that's just because Ruby is obviously a long-running uh, franchise and has a lot more sort of deep lore to it. Uh, that's been revealed as the volumes progress, so yeah, um, hence why my intros and outros for these particular videos are actually quite short, because I don't think there's any necessarily sort of deep lore or anything to really kind of get my teeth into. But uh, yeah, other than that, let's do an uh, outro here, ladies and gentlemen, so hope you'll join me for part five, as um, soon as that comes out. And if you're not aware, Propagandist, of course, is my second channel. My main channel is General Red Strategist, where I do a lot of uh, a lot of gaming content. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, go check it out. It's a link in the video description. But other than that, thanks once again, everybody, for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.